thank you so much for actually uh, putting this together and making it happen. Special thanks to Dr. Liu Gang and all your friends. And this is the first time uh, that I've been to an art show put together by Chinese leaders, Chinese artists, Chinese democracy activists fighting for freedom in China who have also featured works that are relevant to the Tibetan people, works that are close to the Tibetan people's hearts. I think just throughout history, the role that art has played in freedom struggles has been incredible. And I think from time to time, you know, time and again, in country after another, in struggle after another, artists, the art that they have created, played a role of power and change and nonviolent force that no government, no oppressor has been able to stop. Tonight, one of the beginnings of this kind of revolution, this kind of movement. And I'm sure that in the Chinese art world and in the Chinese democracy world, uh, there has been a lot of activities uh, like these going on. But I think, uh, looking ahead, the more we can participate in this, the more we can work together, I think the power that we can produce together from art is completely unimaginable. And it's something that the Chinese government, you know, the leadership in Beijing, will really not understand or not know how to stop. One of, the, one of the most reassuring things about oppressors and dictators and tyrants everywhere is that they have no sense of humor. They have no sense of humor, they have no sense of appreciation for art. They cannot enjoy life, you know. They can, they're not able to laugh and smile. They're not able to crack jokes at themselves. That's why they're not capable of self-criticism. They don't know what it is to look in a mirror and criticize yourself and laugh at yourselves and then improve yourselves. They don't understand these things. That's why I think us coming here, appreciating art and creating art and then using the power of this art to challenge dictatorship, challenge tyranny, challenge oppressors, not just in China but everywhere else in the world. I think that creates a force, a non-violent force that no one will be able to crush. So I really appreciate the effort. I look forward to working with all of you especially the organizers and the Chinese artists out there looking forward to a real revolution, non-violent revolution taking place in China and Tibet and in East Turkestan that the Chinese government, the current Chinese government will not be able to stop. Thank you so much.